Hi everyone, welcome back to part 4 of the repair of my E3632A uh, Agilent power supply and uh, well it was only yesterday I uploaded part 3 but uh, things have moved on rather quickly now um, one of the users on uh, my previous video pointed me towards an E3632A firmware file so I downloaded it, it looks like it was marked as being an older HP branded uh, firmware so obviously the, a slightly older version of this power supply but still it was an E3632A so I downloaded it now I'd run out of the 27C 2001 ROMs but I did have a couple of 80 mega 27C 020 uh, ROMs and checking the data sheets they're pin for pin compatible etc. So I uh, programmed one of them on my S4 with that new firmware uh, and it boots up just perfect and no error message on the display. So I'm um, just running through now testing the actual power supply and so I've dialed up 5 volts there uh, using the rotary encoder and I'm getting more or less 5 volts on my DVM there. I did actually need to calibrate the output that was uh, quite far off, it was a couple of hundred millivolts off in fact so um, I followed the procedure in the service book for calibrating it, it's rather simple really I'm supposed to wait an hour or something like that before you do it but I did it within like 10 minutes so I'll probably need to do it again once I get it all boxed up and so far so good the power supply seems to be working fine so I've also tested the GPIB here uh, back to my uh, development PC and GPIB is working perfectly I can send commands to the power supply I can read back uh, voltages etc that side down here seems to be working great and the next thing I want to do is actually test the um, constant current mode of the power supply and also make sure that the current readout here is correct so I've got my electronic load um, uh, off camera hooked up and I've got it set for one amp so if I just switch it on now you can see that I'm getting one amp on the reading there more or less so uh, I think the calibration for the current readout is probably pretty good uh, it was just the voltage that was uh, way off so now to test the current I've set up the limit to half an amp I've still got the electronic load off camera set to one amp so we'll see what happens so now I'll turn on the electronic load and as you can see there it's uh, more or less half an amp in constant current mode and obviously the voltage has dropped to bring that current down to half an amp so it looks like the electronics is all okay now I've still got one thing to do and maybe some of you have maybe noticed it in the, some of the previous videos there's a reefer cap down there so there's actually three of them but I'm just going to replace the bigger one I've got some uh, X2 uh, slash Y2 class caps here 0.1 microfarad which is the same value that's fitted it's an X2 class that's fitted but I'll uh, go and replace that reefer cap with this one here and then we'll get it all boxed back up into the enclosure first things first before I reassemble I think I'm going to get rid of this message about it being faulty See if I can remember how to put this thing back together. It's been a few weeks.
Well, I think that's it back together, bar the case, the back panel and the handle. I think I'll just give it a quick power up, make sure it's working. And it's working. No, switch it off again. Well, that's it up and running. Um, I will uh, give it a good old soak test before I recalibrate it again. Uh, you know, just because I just gave it 10 minutes earlier on, but it did seem to accept the calibration and uh, stored it fine, so it means the E squared PROM on the main board is working as well for storing the calibration. So I will just uh, give it a good old test, let it sit, and then that's another power supply for the workshop. Now this power supply has been a little bit of a marathon, that's basically four videos, um, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. There's nothing worse than just replacing a fuse and that's a bit of test gear up and running again. I really like to get into it and uh, get right down into the nuts and bolts of the electronics and uh, get some proper uh, electronics repair work done. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and my PayPal link down below and Patreon links are down below if you really want to help the channel and for me to acquire any more of this faulty test gear and bring them back to life where they deserve. So thanks for watching.